Spermatogenesis is the process of the production of the male gamete, that is the sperm, also called spermatozoa. This process takes place in the testis of the male. The diagram here shows the longitudinal section of a testis. Tubes that we see here, the tiny tubes here, these are known as seminiferous tubules. This is the actual site of spermatogenesis. Once the sperm has been produced, it is then stored in this set of tubules here. This is known as the epididymis. During ejaculation, the sperm leaves the testis through a duct, which is commonly known as the sperm duct. It is also called the vas deferens or the ductus deferens. Sperm duct is what connects to the urethra, which then leads to the outside of the male body. Let's take a closer look at the seminiferous tubules. This is a cross-section of the seminiferous tubules. The spermatogenesis process actually occurs in the walls of the seminiferous tubules. Once the sperms are produced, then they gather in the lumen, in the hole, in the middle of the tubule. The sperm cell begins as a primordial germ cell. The primordial germ cell first undergoes the process of mitosis to produce spermatogonia. The first process is mitosis. And what is produced is known as the spermatogonium, singular. Plural is spermatogonia. The spermatogonium still has the diploid number of chromosomes. This means that it has both the chromosomes of every homologous chromosome pair. The spermatogonium then grows and develops into the primary spermatocyte. This process of growth does not change the number of chromosomes and therefore the primary spermatocyte still has the diploid number of chromosomes, that is 2n. The primary spermatocyte then undergoes the first meiotic division. Meiosis only occurs in the production of gametes. And the first meiotic division, meiosis 1, will then produce the first cells with haploid number of chromosome. And that is just n. So from 2n, we have now become n. We have half the number of chromosomes. The daughter cells now contain only one of each of the homologous chromosome pairs. And these cells are known as the secondary spermatocytes. One spermatogonium produces one primary spermatocyte. After the first meiotic division, there are two secondary spermatocytes. The secondary spermatocytes will then undergo the second meiotic division. And each of the secondary spermatocyte is going to produce two daughter cells. The second meiotic division does not divide the number of chromosomes any further. And so the daughter cells now also have the haploid number of chromosomes, that is N. And here they are known as the spermatids. Since each secondary spermatocyte produces two spermatids, we have a total of four spermatids. We started with one spermatogonia and now we have four spermatids. Spermatids are basically immature sperm cells. They have not developed the special characteristics of the sperm that allows it to perform its function of fertilization. And so now the spermatids are going to undergo a process of differentiation. And this process of differentiation is known as spermiogenesis. We're not going to look at spermiogenesis in this video. After the process of differentiation is completed, then finally we have our spermatozoa or sperm cells. Now these sperm cells, you can see clearly that they have the head, a midpiece and a tail, which allows them to perform their function of swimming towards the secondary oocyte in order to fertilize the secondary oocyte. By the end of the process, we have a total of four sperms from one single spermatogonium. There's another cell that's involved in this process, and that is this cell that you see at the side here. This is called the Sertoli cell. The Sertoli cell provides nutrients in the process of spermatogenesis. Let's go through the five processes that take place here. We begin with mitosis in the production of the spermatogonium, and then we have growth, which it grows into the primary spermatocyte. From the primary spermatocyte, we begin meiotic division, meiosis 1, meiosis 2, and then the spermatids will then undergo differentiation in order to finally form four sperm cells. If you've learned something today, please hit that like button, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for doing that. I'll be producing at least one video a week, so do subscribe 
and I hope to see you guys in the next video.